when it comes to walking your dog, you can have it both ways. You don't always have to have a strict heel command where your dog is at your left side on a loose leash matching your pace. As nice as that is, sometimes you want to just be able to stroll along without getting your arm pulled out of your socket. So let me show you the weight command and then we'll incorporate a couple of other things to keep Winnie interested and engaged with me. Winnie, sit. Good girl. Okay, let's go. Wait. Come. Sit. Good. I love her happy attitude. We're doing commands, but she's having fun at the same time. Let's go. Wait. Good girl. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I stop. She stops with me and then actually turns around to sort of check in and see what, what I'm looking for. Let's go. Wait. Good girl. changes of direction so that the dog doesn't always think I'm going in one straight line. If she thinks I'm going from here to the end of the street, she's going to pull me there. So I like to mix it up a little bit. Good girl, Winnie. Sit. This way. This way. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. That's pretty good attention, I'll say. Good girl. during your walk, you should incorporate some heel command. It's a very good skill for any dog to have. So we're going to do a little bit of that now. So heel's a little more structured, a little more controlled. She's right here next to me on the left side. Heel matches my pace. Sit. She sits when I stop. Heel. Good girl. Sit. Good. Heel. Good heel. Sit. Good dog. Very, very good. Do a few commands like this early on in your walk, and the rest of your walk will be a little bit smoother. Good job, Wynn. Yeah, that's my good girl.